strong. Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now, today is not going to be a magic video, today, the Pokemon video. Uh, I wanted to do this for a while, I've had the deck for some time. Like, I think this is a perfect deck for like someone who's now getting into the Pokemon TCG. So I thought, like, I use this deck to um, kind of teach and show people how to play. It's a very, f it's a friendly, it's a very friendly deck. There isn't anything major in this deck really. So, I guess how do we get into the profile? Now, obviously, we got the boy Magnemite himself. Now, um, yeah, Magnazone EX, in my opinion, really good for when it came out in uh, Scar and Bite. Really strong, really good. So, obviously, we want a playset of Magnemites, just like in Magic Gathering. A playset in Pokemon is four copies of the same card. So here, Magmite. I run this version of Magmite because uh, this Magmite from Pandaria evolved because for one energy, you may attach up to two basic energies from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So it just means that you can slowly beef up your guy on your bench when when uh, when Magmite well when Magnazone is ready. That's why I want four because I want to see it quick. And plus, uh, helps with synergy of the deck. Uh, I only want two copies of Magneton for a reason. It's because I can e I can search out Magneton easier, um, a lot easier than I can search out the basic Magmites. There's uh, nothing really special about this Magneton. It's just I like the artwork. And um, sure, I can do the uh, the explosion, which would kill it. But nah, it's just in here to quickly evolve into pretty much. And then we have Magnazone EX. I want two copies because I think two is still pretty good because I'm able to get us back from the bin. So, uh, Energy Crush. I think Energy Crush is really strong for only one le one lightning energy. It uh, does 50 damage. Well, just 50 times the amount of energies attached to all your opponent's Pokemon. Not just the active. Also on your bench. On the opponent's bench. Which is really good. Or for two energies, you can uh, Pulse Launcher, which does 220 damage. But it does do 30 damage to itself. So you do use that attack, it'll go down from 330 HP to 300 HP. Which I think is still really good. Like, I think this is perfect for a beginner. I know you can buy the, the Build and Battle decks, the, um, the Ampharos one. The Ampharos one's still pretty good. I just, I honestly just like Mag I just like Magnets, I think they're cool. Same way I like Magnemite. He is one of my favorites. It's actually, I got a full art in my frame over there. Which, I look at that frame and think, I said I was going to finish this in March. We're in October. <laughs> we are in October, so yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, so I won three palmies from uh, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I do like the uh, sure. It's a, it's a random. You like flip a coin if heads. Like it, it heads. Flip coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, which is great, it slows them down and they have to, I think they have to keep flipping a coin. So we want three of these Palmies. And then we want two Palmos. Again, for the flip coin, if heads, your, active, your opponent's active Pokemon is uh, paralyzed. I don't ever do the head bolt, I just think it's bad. I basically just try and slow them down before they can wipe out my Pokemon. And then one regular Palmot from a, a Scar and Violet. 
this one is uh, its ability is once during your turn you may search your deck for a basic electric energy and attach it to this Pokemon then shuffle so sure it probably won't last very long but if I can put a lot of, of uh, energies in my bin it kind of sets up for when I want to put in Magnemite especially with three uh, discard all energies attached to this Pokemon do 230 damage which is still really good so yeah this is only up to kind of fill my graveyard with energies which is why I won like 18 energies in the deck and then we won three wattles which is the one Carlos Carlos yeah let's say Carlos it's normal energy one energy draw card which is pretty nice allows me to easily if I need a card well try and luck into drawing a card I'll just wattle uh, but kill a wattle it's actually really good for two energy skydive it deals 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon so you can easily start sniping the bench or you can discard energy from this Pokemon to do 140 damage that's also good for the deck but I don't know, being able to uh, skill drive an opponent's bench is pretty good. Because if they don't have a bench when you kill their active Pokemon, you'll win the game. And then for the last Pokemon, we just won two Indie D. For the uh, Expert Nurturer. So I search my deck for a card that rolls from one of your Pokemon and evolve it. So again. That's why I only want two, so I have a slower chance, uh, a lower chance of seeing it in my opening hand. I can just use this and search for it and instantly evolve it. So that's pretty much it for the Pokemon. And now we get to the it like the item trainer cards. So you won three nest balls. I was running a playset, but I decided to take one out. So Nest Ball, for those who don't know, it allows you to search your deck for basic Pokemon and put it into your bench. Then shuffle. Really, really good. Really cool they came out in the Scar and Violet set. Uh, and then one, I decided to want one Ultra Ball. Because there were times where I didn't really want to discard anything in my hand. Especially if I had, usually it would be another Ultra Ball and say energy. So I decided to take it out and put in another nest ball because nest balls are easy, much easier to get. So yeah, discard two cards from your hand, and then you search your deck for a Pokemon. Add to your hand. I think I kind of prefer this ratio really. But obviously, with the items in the deck, you can just decide what you want to play. And then we want two electric generator. Electric generator. Uh, allows you to look at the top five cards of your deck. Attach up to two electric energies you find uh, the to your bench Pokemon in any way you like, and then shuffle. So yeah, if you got like two or one, you just attach them to one of your or your Pokemon, pretty much. Really good. Also, uh, since if like you somehow you got both of them in your hand, you can play it and then play again. Since you can play as many, you can play any number of item cards. And then we won free switch. Just in case someone plays an escape rope. I think escape rope is one where you both, you and your opponent choose to switch out your Pokemon. I think, I can't remember if it's you or your opponent choose first. Hopefully, I think that's the right card. So then you can just switch switch it back out. I really like Switch, that's why I run like three of them. I was at one point where I was playing a playset, but I felt that was a bit too much. So I took one out. Okay. So and since the idea is to put a lot of them in the bin, I'm running two energy retrievals. Put up the two basic energy from discard pile into your hand. I was tempted to putting this to three. Uh, and the last item is just one Poke Gear, uh, zero, uh, 3.0. So like all po like mini Poke Gears, you look at top seven cards of your deck, you reveal support, 
put into your hand, shuffle your deck. I was tempted of running two, but I decided just to stick with the one for now. Now for the supporters. One thing about supporters, if you're new to the game and don't know, you can only play one per turn. So, Professor's Research. I just thought it'd be good, since I'm running Electric Deck, I'll just grab Professor Turbo's. At one point, I do want to get like a full art of Professor Turbo, because I got Violet. I thought Violet was cool. I honestly thought Maridon was cooler than Coridon, and I still do. So, I like all the Professor's Research, you discard your hand, draw 7. That's kind of it. I've never really liked the idea about discarding my hand. But in this deck, if it puts energies in my bin so I can get them back, fair enough. And the whole, I don't like discarding, which is why I run free Youngster. Uh, youngster, shuffle your hand into your deck, draw 5. It's like Sonya. Uh, Sonya? I think it's Sonya. Don't know why I'm looking in there, I don't have it in there. No, it's in my Googie deck, I think. But yeah, Youngster, I won free of it because I just prefer shuffling my hand back in the deck and draw 5. Sure, I'm lo I'm not drawing 7, but drawing 5 is still better than drawing none. And then we have... I just call it Jack, because I never know how to pronounce the, the Q, so I just call him Jack. So you uh, search your deck for up to 2 Evolution Pokemon, and then put them into your hand. Evolution Pokemon are basically any Pokemon that's not the basic Pokemon, so any of like, any of these, these pretty much, just, just basically anything. Also, I just realized, why well, you guys, you're not in the correct order. There we go. So I could use this to get Magneton and Magnezone, or Wattle, uh, Killer Wattles, or maybe the Palmos and Palmots. And then we won one uh, Minona, just for the cheeky, I'm going to draw three cards. Our last supporter is Minoan? Uh, Minoim? I, I, I don't know still. I find it easier to actually hear them than I do uh, look at them. Also, why is my camera being bum? Again, I should probably get a new camera. It never focuses. So, you shuffle 5 Pokemon, well, up to 5 Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. If you shuffled any cards into the deck this way, you draw 3 cards. So, you're not just putting Pokemon back into your deck, you're also drawing 3. Which, all around in one supporter, yes. I'll gladly take that, especially if I'm drawing more cards. And then, uh, as I said, we're running like 18 electric energies, because we can. Because again, I want to see as much energy as I can, not to or just put onto my Pokemon once per turn, to also put in the bin. So, yeah. Do you know, that's probably my, my quickest profile I've done so far since a lot of them have been commander deck profiles which are a hundred like hundred cards so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the video I want to do more Pokemon videos in the future and yeah stay tuned for some more magic videos and I'll see you guys in the next one bye